Last night, our 8 News Now investigators showed you how a convicted teen murderer released from prison went on to kill two more people. Now, the state released him because he was a child at the time of the crime, and he was up for mandatory parole. Well, 8 News Now investigator David Charns tells us why most offenders like Mark Ford. We've received a lot of response since our story aired and went online, specifically how cases like Mark Ford stack up against the country. As we reported, it's uncommon for young offenders to serve as long as he did, 20 years, and then reoffend. Nevada is among the majority of states banning life without parole for children. Ford, who killed a man in 2003 and then served 20 years, was eligible for mandatory parole after serving that term. A Nevada law passed in 2015 stipulated any young offender who committed a crime involving death, who was under 18 at the time, is automatically eligible for mandatory parole after 20 years. As the 8 News Now investigators reported, Ford would go on to kill two more people shoot a third before dying by suicide. But data from the Campaign for the Fair Sentencing of Youth shows most young offenders age out of crime. It's shocking because it is so unusual to see someone, uh, a former juvenile lifer who gets out and causes more harm. The 8 News Now investigators speaking with Preston Ship, a former prosecutor who advocates for offenders like Mark Ford to get a second chance. The parole board gave Ford that chance after he met state requirements. I just don't know if there was something that the parole board could have picked up on, but I I feel so much for them because they're, they're clearly trying so hard to do the right thing. Um, and, and are meeting with overwhelming success. Data shows that success is real. According to the federal government, nationally, the average age of someone arrested for murders and drugs is 19. A 17-year-old will do things that a 30-year-old will not. Scientists say that includes our brains not developing fully until we're 25, and that the older and more affluent you are, according to federal data, the less likely you'll commit crime. Research also shows younger minds are more apt to change when they're in prison, especially for someone like Mark Ford, who was there for two decades. Why he killed two more people after his release, we may never know the true reason. I'm David Sharns, 8 News Now. Well, thank you, David. Now, as we told you last night, the parole board declined the 8 News Now investigators' invitation for an interview for this story. Now, you can watch the 8 News Now investigators reporting on Mark Ford's case and his release. You can do that right now at 8newsnow.com or for free inside of our app.